Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs, Grow420 Guide here, and welcome back to Season 6. It's going to be a quick video today. We're just stopping through the grow tent, taking a look at our beautiful girls. We did a little bit of low-stress training maintenance yesterday, and right in the canopy of a few of our plants here, our purple kush is just looking super awesome. Such an even level, wide canopy with all of her tops just exploding with growth and just even light all the way around this bush. I truly love this plant. Uh, there were a couple other plants that we did loop, but that's not the point of this video. We we're finishing up with our veg maintenance and today we are gonna be introducing CO2 into our garden using TMB Naturals, the enhancer. Now, there are different ways of incorporating CO2 into your garden. You can make it yourself with lukewarm water, sugar and yeast, you can purchase available products such as this on the market, or you can even go as far as getting them big old bulky CO2 tanks that take up a ton of space in your grow tent and that are pretty costly. Um, but for today, we are going to be trying out the Enhancer. We picked this up at the Maximum Yield Indoor Gardening Expo, and we haven't used it yet, and it's just been sitting in my room. I've really been looking forward to using this product, and now seems to be the perfect time. We've introduced CO2 before into my garden um, during season two, and we actually made it ourselves. So if you guys want to make CO2 yourself, click on the screen right now, right there, and that'll take you to that video. Um, actually, you should wait until this video is over and then go back to the time code and then watch that video. But let's get into it. We are going to be mixing up some lukewarm water into our enhancer here. So directions for use. Let's see. Remove lid and add one liter of lukewarm water. Place lid back on and remove the sticker. That's a sticker. Um, shake canister well, covering hole on lid. Place canister above desired plants in an upright position. CO2 will begin to disperse right after the shake. Yaddy yaddy yaddy. Repeat shaking every day for optimal CO2 release and place behind an oscillating fan if one is available. Okay, um, so caution. After adding lukewarm water and shaking, do not cover the hole to the canister because it could possibly burst. Whew, that's good to know. All right, so obviously all that pressure is gonna build up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and, yeah, we'll just do it with the camera set up like that, whatever. Just going for it. Taking this off and it looks like sugar and yeast and something else in there. I don't really know. Interesting. All right. So we got our funnel here and we have our, oh God, oh God, one liter of warm water. We're just going to go ahead and slowly pour this in. Trying to do this slowly so I don't have any over spillage. So in the directions, it said place this above the plants. I don't know if we're going to necessarily be able to place this above the plants. Um, go ahead and put this lid on. Don't shake it yet because our sticker is still on. I should probably get that sticker off now rather than later. I don't have anything to do that with. I got my keys. Oh God, this is gonna explode on us. Get the sticker off, hurry. Hurry. Really? Is that all it is? Just a small little pinhole up there? Wait, I want to double check that. 
because I thought this whole thing was going to be a hole. Oh wow, no, it is lit literally just a minuscule pinhole up there. Okay, so the sticker is off. Now we're just going to place our finger over this hole here. Make sure this cap's on. All right, and just start shaking. Doesn't really tell you how long to shake. I guess you just kind of go. Let's see, let's take our finger off. Boop. I felt like there was going to be like a pressure build up and like a release. But that wasn't the case. All right, and just like that, we have successfully added CO2 to our grow tent. It's as easy as that. Now, what I was gonna do is I was gonna try and place it in the middle, but it said place behind an oscillating fan. I don't have an oscillating fan, but next best thing I can do is, I can do this, and hold on, I think I got a box over here. Okay, oh, oh God, dropping stuff. All right, so we got a box. Can maybe push this box over here. All right, and go ahead and we'll just place that right there. Boom, and that should work. It's above the canopy, CO2 is heavier than air, so it is gonna fall. Our fan is placed right over there, so it'll fall and hopefully get dispersed through our inline fan over there and just kind of slowly make its way around the entire grow tent. Now the last thing you want to do is you want to close up your grow tent because obviously you're going to be containing that CO2 a lot better and making it readily available for your plants to just kind of intake rather than wasting it outside of the front door. So with that being said OGs, I think that's going to conclude the video there. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick gander at our plants. Just so beautiful. Purple Kush. We got our Azor Haze back here. Our Jack Herrera Autoflower that is early into flowering. Our Jack Herrera that is about ending his her second week in flower. I um, excuse me, not second week, first week of flower. Beginning her second week of flower. And then one last purple kush right up here. This purple kush is probably one of my favorites just because the canopy is just so well spread and just so beautiful. Look at all those tops. Ah, I love it. Well, with that being said, OGs, that's going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always, subscribe so you're not missing out on any Season 6 content. I forgot to mention, if you guys are adding CO2 to your garden, through the enhancer or through making your own source of CO2 through um, through the jug and lukewarm water, yeast and sugar, that you're only gonna be producing optimal CO2 for the first two to three weeks. Same with using the enhancer. After the three week mark, your CO2 levels are gonna slowly start to drop off and you're not gonna be producing as much. So you're gonna wanna change out the contents in that bottle. Um, if, you're, if you're making your own batch at home, just go ahead and toss out the entire bottle and just start from scratch, just yeast, sugar, and lukewarm water. If you guys are using the enhancer and you don't want to make it at home yourself, um, they do sell replacement kits. And just go ahead and empty out all the contents in that bottle. Add your dry contents first from the replacement kit. And then you just go ahead and add your lukewarm water. Cover the hole and shake and replace the bottle into your garden and you are producing optimal CO2 again. So remember, two to three weeks of optimal CO2 production, then it severely starts to drop off, um, replace it. Also, I did leave out in the making of this video that CO2 helps your yield. You get much more of a yield off just simply adding carbon dioxide into your garden. So if you can do it, I highly recommend it. With that being said, OGs, we're gonna end the video here. The next update is gonna be an outdoor update of our Haze Extreme eight foot gigantic monster. I know you guys have been anticipating it for a while. So with that being said, I will see you guys then. Peace out, OGs.